In this video guide, we'll show you how easy it is to create your own loopable animated backgrounds using Video Studio. Let's see some examples first. As you can see, animated backgrounds usually have subtle and smooth movements with no visible details. Another important feature is that the backgrounds also loop seamlessly, which means that they repeat a pattern of movement. In this tutorial, we'll create two animated backgrounds. We'll create our first animated background using an image. And for the second background, we'll use a video clip. Let's get started. Let's go to the Images Birds folder in our library. As you can see, we have a lot of colorful images here. You can use almost any of these images to create your backgrounds, and as you'll see, the final result will look stunning. Let's drag this red and green parrot image to the video track. Now increase this image's duration to about 6 seconds. Next, we'll apply some video filters to this image, so go to the Video Filters library. Let's drag the average filter onto the image clip. This converts the image clip into an abstract image. Now click Customize. Select the first keyframe and set the cell size all the way up to 50. Add a keyframe about a quarter way along and set the cell size to 43. Add another keyframe about three quarters of the way along and set the cell size to 47. Now a special note for the last keyframe. For a loop to be seamless, the attributes of the last keyframe must be the same as the attributes of the first keyframe. Select the first keyframe. Right click and copy. Now select the last keyframe. Right click and paste. Click OK. So far so good but we can still somewhat see the shape of the parrot. So to fix that, let's add the Whirlpool filter to the clip. We now have a nice colorful swirl. Let's further animate the swirl. Click Customize. We'll keep the animation clockwise. Now let's make the twist size 720 on the first and last keyframes. Let's add a keyframe over here and make the twist size 500. Now let's add another keyframe over here and make the twist size 400. You can play around with these values, but just remember to keep the same attributes for the first and last keyframes. Now click OK. We're almost there. Now to make the swirl fill up the screen, let's drag the video pan and zoom filter on the image clip. Click Customize. On the first keyframe, make the zoom size 140 and select No Panning. Now just as before, let's copy the first keyframe to the last keyframe. Click OK. And there we go, we have our first animated video background. Let's preview it. I think that looks very nice. So you know the trick now. Just apply a few filters on colorful images and you can create stunning video backgrounds. So that was a background using an image. You can also create animated backgrounds using video clips, but this involves one more small trick. So let me show you the trick. Let's open the animated backgrounds.vsp project we already created. So in this project, all we've done is apply the kaleidoscope and the average filters to a hot air balloon video clip using the same techniques as we showed you before. Let's preview this project. So if you notice, the looping is not seamless. The start and end points are different.
So to fix that, here's the trick. All you need to do is drag this clip to the library and then drag it back to the timeline next to the first clip. What we just did was duplicate the video clip together with all its video filters. So we now have the same clip back to back. Now to make the looping seamless, simply check the reverse video option on the second clip. This small trick makes the start and end points the same. Now let's preview the animated background. Well, I think that's a pretty nice effect. It loops seamlessly and would look great with a title. So we've shown you the basics of creating animated backgrounds and we encourage you to experiment with all the different video filters that come with Video Studio. So that's it for this episode. Over to the next creative technique. Good luck. <laughs>